Yo, what up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Richest. And if you are here on my channel for the first time, please feel free to subscribe, ring that bell notification down below so that every time I post a video, you will be alerted first. And please don't forget to like and comment on my video. So it's your boy Richest from Zambia. Okay, so today I've got a very special video. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about in the video for today is that you know, your boy, your maps has finally released a new song under the new management of Nexus Music Entertainment's titled Location Mwashwa. So as you all know, Yo Maps was under KMP and you know he decided not to continue with the record label after you know his contract had ended with the label. So Yo Maps joined Nexus Music Entertainment and fans were waiting for the latest track under the new management so that they compare okay so this video titled location by your maps was shot in south africa it's a very beautiful video it's a beautiful masterpiece and i would love you guys to go and watch the video support zambian music support local music musician okay so the menus that i have for you for today is that you know Sabdi talks about Makitu when he was being interviewed by Pastor Jimmy K on a show known as Real Talk. So the video that I'm going to be showing you in this video, it's a very rare video. You won't find it anywhere else apart from Ziswa Plus. Once you have subscribed to Ziswa Plus, then you will have access to the content that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So in this video, you will see Slab D talking about Makitu, that Makitu was once a cameraman. And at a certain point, Makitu once shot a video for him and Rafkit. Makitu was very good at editing videos. If I didn't understand the video, Makitu was very good at editing videos. So the time Slab D knew Makitu, as you know, a cameraman, Slab D had already released two albums. So, your statement is that I have to work on the game. But Makitu and Slab D are in it. The time Slab D knew Makitu as a cameraman, he was rapping, but uh, you know, that music business commercial for the Mwaishwa. So, I re rap, but I had a good son, I had a good son, I could editing my videos. Okay, so I'll show you the video. And Slab D also talked about you know the beef between him and Makitu, how the beef started, what impact the beef has made on the music industry, and he also described the beef between him and Makitu as the longest beef in the Zambian music industry. beef Makitu na Sabdi. Even though abantu wale monoku ba intense beef ya kwa Sabdi na Makitu kudi vena ya di fepa easy. Pamula nduwa kwe wati vena wali kwe tamma di mits. But ama fans kunso kubale yumina na poku ichisa ponefe ya vipa pamula nduwa kwe waka Makitu na Sabdi. Guys, you shouldn't take what these entertainers do seriously. Otherwise, you might get hurt at the end then umuntu ore supporta tare saka manata ba fikose sheno fikose she fintu ife mwaishiba so in the music these guys are entertainers mara um for kuringa na slab d fa de londra so i would like you to watch the video of you know slab d talking about maki 2 watch the video famous beef with maki 2 now you guys are good friends <laughs> under the same record label <laughs> what triggered that beef competition it was just competition. It was all competition, you yeah. okay. And for a long time. Uh, was it him that said something about you? Was it you that started it? Who started the film? Well, most people say I, I started that, but no, actually, he'd been jabbing me before. <laughs> you know, he'd been talking to me, you know. What did he say? What did he say? Well, on, the and they, on some some songs, you know. Uh -huh. He would say something. Yeah. And you know, I had my boys, they say, I yeah, this guy from the Cooper Build. Yeah. But for me, I knew Booga way back, from way, way back. Yeah. As a 
as a camera guy. You know what I mean? He used to do videos. He yeah, actually shot one of my videos before that. Yeah. Uh, he was so good that we actually called him back to shoot another rough kid video. Okay. So he'd come from Chingola, company. You already started XYZ then? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Oh, okay. It was just a bit. This is 208, 209. So, okay. Okay. so, so who, who, who started earlier um, in the rap game between you and him? It was me. Oh, okay. I was, I was already. And already released an album or two. Oh, okay. Before he started. At that point, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, he was rapping, but he was more of, he was an underground rapper. Yes, yes, yes. More of an underground rapper than a, than a commercial. Than a commercial, yeah. 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 And he was really good at editing videos, you know, he'd edit himself, do a sick video, edit himself, rap over other rap to do covers, what they call covers now. He yeah. was doing that way. Yes, I yeah. actually remember he actually did. The song, this is why I'm hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was big. It was big. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the the song. Song. Yes, yes, yes. It was very creative. Yeah. So I was like, this guy is good. How about if I try to do a real song? Yeah. You know, a real song, one of my songs, and let him shoot. Uh-huh. And it was so creative. We just come with a green cloth. Yeah. Stick it up there and say, yo, stand there, do this, act like you're pushing something. Yes, yes, yes. You do that and then end up seeing the video. So Nifu Nawiyaki was the first video that he ever shot for me. So before you guys had your beef, my yeah. two shot your video. Yeah, my used to come to my house. Okay, a lot. Okay, yeah. that's, that's very interesting. Yeah. So, so the beef starts, uh, he was talking you, uh, he was talking at you, he was yeah. saying certain things. Yeah. Uh, when, did you, when did you officially respond? Okay, so he dropped a song. There was a song. There was an award show, Born and Bread Awards. Yeah. Two, 209, it was yeah, 207, 209. I won, cause in a row I won best hip hop, best hip hop. Yeah. So two zero twenty oh nine. So I keep saying two zero twenty oh nine. Yeah. He he he. I won again. Yeah. You know he was also in the category. Yeah. And he went and did a song about how the judges were biased. Yeah. Um. How you know he would come for us the next year. Blah blah blah. Yes yes yes. yes. So twenty ten, I happened to win. Again. Yeah. You know, and in this song, he said the line something like 2009, Muna Sama, 2010, Muna Sama, Jama, something like that. Yes, yes, yes. When I put my award, <laughs> the first thing I said was 2009, Muna Sama, what did 2010? Oh, Muna Sama. And then the crowd went when? bananas. Uh, I didn't even expect that. You know, for me, it was like, ah. So that's because it had been me. something that was, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Bad one. So you actually just made it official. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I said that, and then the crowd went, I actually felt bad that I'd say that after the crowd's reaction. Yeah. Because it was... So somehow they instigated the whole thing. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And then the next thing I know is, you know, he's on social media. Yeah. Nah, let's take this to the studio. Oh, yeah. That's why I called him up, you know, because I feel guilty. I'm not bad. Yeah. Like, more than worry. And it was true. It was yes. just true. The next morning, I called him up. like the most, he's, you know. He's like a cool dude. Yeah. Yo. Uh-huh. So I, I called him up. Show? I was like, um, I said, uh, Laka. Yeah. Hey, um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, no pressure. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. What I didn't know was he was heading back to the cold birds here. Yeah. And I think the same day, if not the next day, he dropped a diss track for me. <laughs> <laughs> a healthy diss track. Yeah. So this song was all about how, you know, my performance was weak at the awards. Yeah. It was basically, at the time, it was hot stuff, you know. How, dis- how disrespectful was the beef, though? Did you get to talking about your parents, children, whatever? How, how disrespectful was it? No, because no. I know beefs can be can be mad. So yeah. How just uh, no. first of all, we didn't. I don't think we had kids. We didn't have kids. Okay. Yeah, we both didn't have kids. But what was the meanest that you said? The meanest thing. Oof. We we spoke about we jabbed at everything. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Would say anything. Yeah. Anything, man. To hurt the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a diss track, but it never got. I don't think it ever got to our family. Yeah. I think the beef was bigger with the fans than it was with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was the worst with the fans? Because uh, when I heard the diss track, mm. no, 
was, you know, it was okay. The match he got, I think that was the one that he got his brother on. Ah, I actually saw that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 On fire, me na guru de piyambara. Yeah. Stop me chikolo, put him to the pain. You know, that, that was a famous, still famous. Yeah, you know? yes, yes. I wasn't gonna diss back if it was just him. Yeah. But then he got his brother. I was like, hmm. So it's a whole gang against me. Yeah. What I didn't know, there was also other artists who were just siding with him. Yeah. It was a whole deal, and the fans were in bananas when he dropped that. Yeah. I swear, I couldn't even walk. He was like, wow, did you hear this song? Yeah. So I said to myself, no, you want to die. Just leave it. Yeah. But say, <laughs> the rapper in me, the computer in me. Say that, no, I got to hit back. Let's go. Yeah. And I dropped a song called Chino Chaka. Is that it? Oh, my name. Is that Black or Chiha? Never thank you much to you. <laughs> Basically, we, we felt like Biggie and Tupac. Yes, yes, yes. But honestly speaking, it was really bad with the fans. What was the worst? Uh, when, hey, the worst? when somebody died. Somebody died? Yes, and that's when we squashed it. What happened? <laughs> what, what, what happened? So a couple of guys were drinking. Yeah. You know how beef was that? Uh, I feel like it's probably the biggest beef that we will ever witness. Yeah. Because it wasn't just youngsters in the world, he was office guys. Yeah. It became a big deal. It became like a Lusaka Copa Bell. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're a Lusaka guy, you most exactly. definitely decide to start dating. Exactly. Coming from the Copa Bell, you're not choose guy. Exactly. Yeah. So a bunch of these bunch of kids were drinking and they started arguing. Yeah. No, 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 no. Then one put out the knife and stabbed the other. Yeah. So he didn't die on the sport. They rushed him to the hospital and stuff, but he ended, ended up dying. So, my friend actually called me and told me, yo, that somebody died. We need to squash this. This was after like seven dishes back and forth. Yeah. You know what I mean? But between the two of you, was there any time that you'd be like at one event, your crew versus his crew? Did you ever guys get into a fist fight or anything like uh, that? Me and, me and MK never ever got into that. We yeah. knew better to not step in each other's, you know, boundaries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was the other because you know when beef is so big it, there's other people that get involved yeah, yeah. it's those people that now drive the whole thing yeah. so yeah